Okay, the first step of the program is actually to go on to the online OHS website and select login. Your username and password is Christine, is the username, and the password is online OHS. Then type in the hieroglyphic. And basically you enter the program. Now the concept of the program is works in this kind of module. First of all you enter a site, then you'll enter an activity, enter a position, plant equipment, chemical, and then we're going to assess. And, and, and as we're doing this, it literally builds a safe work method statement, which is the, the whole process of and an, a major point of the program. Um, the sites, you need to enter all the site. A site doesn't need to be just a, a site that they, uh, one site or one site that they work at. They, if they're only working at one site, you can break up that site to kitchen, laundry, room one, you know, function room two, uh, whatever it may be. So warehouse, docks, or you might have a, a place that visits sites. So they, so they might have 23 Mile Street, 14, you know, Blackburn Street, all those different locations where they go to. So a site is either a site or a location. And we do that because we want to break down exactly where an activity is at for later on when we report, we can identify that an accident happened at a certain um, site or location. So step one, is basically enter the sites and that you'll find that in the risk management section and you'll see the sub directory down the side just select sites this will bring up the site page this will be changing very shortly in an upgrade where when you actually select sites all these individual sites when we hit the details oh it's already changed how's that look at that that looks absolutely fantastic you say Say that. That, looks, that fan looks absolutely fantastic, Phil. No more talking. So basically now what they can do, this site relating to this site, they can select the employees relating to that site, the emergency systems relating to that site, hazards relating to that site. So if they actually want to go to the safe work methods relating to that site, they can click the safe work methods and it'll actually bring up all the safe work methods only related to that site. So we'll go back to sites and basically we'll add a new site. So let's add a new site and we'll just say we're adding a new site for a, a hotel. We, we've just visited a hotel and we wanna, um, we're going to enter a site as function room number one. Doesn't require a risk assessment. The start date, we'll just make it today's date because we're starting the program. Phone number, no phone number required, but the site contact also might be the, the supervisor of that room. So we just might make the supervisor as Steve Menzies. He's the site supervisor, he looks after function room one. So we insert the record, and now basically that will actually go into an alphabetical order of this here in function room one. We enter all our sites, so we've entered function room 2, function room 3, all those different things and so forth. Our next step, as it was in the flowchart, is activities. So basically now we can actually enter all the activities that is undertaken, not just in that one site, but we want to enter the activities undertaken in that entire business. Now it might be, you know, you know it might be a hundred different activities, so you can add at the moment you add the, the majority of ones which are the major activities and then once you get used to the program or once a person clients wants to use it more they can actually um, add more activities as they go on but for this purpose we'll add, add, do an activity name as um, setting up tables and the site as soon as you enter a site, it actually goes into the drop-down box here. We're going to select it that it's going to be function room 1. So the description is general setting up of tables in function room. 
there is no qualifications needed, but we also can have a qualification as training, so manual handling training, because manual handling is the major kind of injury relating to that. Yes, they're going to need an induction. By clicking induction here, you'll see that when we go into one of the other sections, or well, the next section, organisational positions, by selecting this here, all the activities uh, are going to be related to a company position. So we might relate a company position to a um, just a housemaid, and she's setting up those tables. So that we're not so much an employee yet, we're going to do that later on, where we actually allocate an employee to that position. So we've allocated an activity now with an induction. If we go insert record, and you'll see that automatically goes and starts putting it into the activity register. Everything that's been entered into the activity register automatically is entered into the safe work method register and starts building the safe work method. You'll see that that's the activity we entered, setting up tables. That's the location we selected, function room one. That was the description we entered and there's the site supervisor we entered. The qualifications we entered for this um, activity was manual handling training. So basically it, um, it will put, put the processes in here. But we'll go back to that later. So we're talking about activities. You would enter all your different activities into the program. And then basically the next step after entering an activity into the program is to build an organisational position. So we'll just stop this session here and go into the next uh, slide so uh, this file doesn't get too big. Hang on.